This is a story of how I progressed as a solo player where big groups dominate the island and you can lose all your loot within a moment. But I will have to find my way around this island somehow. Alright, we're in lone survival. Uh, there's a monument right there and then there's also a monument right there. And uh, this is just a pretty chill spot. So I think I'm going to build here. I'm deciding that I want to live on this island. But before I plan on building my base, I'm going to need some materials to actually build the base. All right, there we go. Oh, it looks like some guy's farming right here. I think I can kill him. Hold on. Headshot. All right, he's dead. Let's see what he has. All right, not bad. I'll take it. I'm going to get a bag down here. Just in case I die, I can just spawn right back. All right. Same a beach. All right, this looks like a good spot to build a base. Let's just get some resources. Okay, good. We're getting some stone. All right, I got a bunch of stone, so I'm going to use these materials to craft some tools. There we go. Now I'm going to be getting resources a lot faster. I mean, look how much wood I'm getting. It's actually kind of flat up the hill, so I think this might work. Let's get my door down. All right, now I'm going to add my... TC so no one else can build. Alright, so I got my base down. Look at it. It's actually kind of nice. There should be a lot of space to store my loot. Alright, let's place a window right here. There we go. Now we can see who's outside my base. While I was farming more resources for the base, the game crashed. But when I logged back on, I stumbled on a couple sleeping bodies. Ooh, there's some sleeping bodies right here. Hold on. Ooh, wait, what? Damn, they probably just crashed. I feel bad, but I gotta get rid of my competition on this island. I'm gonna spend some time getting more resources like iron so I can use it for later. I'm back home and I made some furnaces and started cooking the iron I just got. Then I'm gonna use the iron to craft a workbench. So now we can craft better items like guns and tools, but I'm first gonna need components to craft better stuff. So I'm gonna go roam at the nearest monument. My base is already good. I just need uh, some loot. All right, I do gotta be careful because a lot of people do go here. Damn, there's nothing here. I was about to leave the motel until I spotted a player in the corner of my eye. Wait, actually, I did see a player. Oh, there's a kid right here. Hit him. He's running. Come here. Hit him. Come on. You gotta be low. There we go. Oh my, he was stacked. Bro, this guy was loaded. He had so much stuff on him. Oh, I'm gone. I'm running. Alright. Alright. Okay, okay. We're good. Look at all this loot. Cook that sulfur. That roam was so successful, I decided to go on another roam. I think the crates might have respawned. Yep. Alright, this is actually pretty good loot. I'm gonna go store this. Alright, back home. And then I went on another roam. Alright, it's getting daytime. I think I'm just gonna go back to my base while I still can. After getting a lot of resources from these roams, I decided to upgrade the base a bit. But I would need a lot more resources to fully upgrade the base to stone. So I went on a mining run in the snow area. I got one, two, three, four, five, six thousand stone on me. I'm just gonna take the stone I farmed and just leave. There should be enough stone to upgrade my whole entire base to stone. All right, there's my base. All right, let me just upgrade everything here. All right, my full base is now upgraded to stone. All right, let me cook some iron now. With a bunch of leftover resources, I decided to upgrade the whole base by adding more doors, a second floor, and some honeycomb. I got a layer of honeycomb around the whole entire base, so it should be a lot more protected. So right now, I got to get more stone to fully upgrade the base to stone, because right now we have a lot of wood on the second floor. But after the sun began to rise, I decided to go on another roam. But while I was swimming across the river, I would be met by a duo. All right, hit his friend. Hit him again. Oh, he's running. Ah, uh, they hit in their base. Oh, there's a whole nother duo right here. What? There's another duo. Come here. Okay, got one. Okay, but got both of them. Oh my, this guy was stacked. Alright, he wants to fight me again. Is he really running now? Come on. Okay, got him. There's his friend. Hit him. 
Oh, so lucky. All right, yeah. I'm just going to leave. Holy, I got 3,000 wood from that fight. 1,000 stone. All right, that was definitely a good win right there. Look at my base. Beautiful base. Look at that. I'm going to upgrade. There we go. Okay, that's that's all right. I'm gonna quickly deposit all of this stuff really quick, and then I'm gonna go back to go kill the sun guys. Is this their base? No way. Oh my, there's no way. No way they left their door open. <laughs> there's no way. Oh, they're back. Oh, they're back. Oh, he's running. Come here. Oh, that shit hitting me. Let me just back up. One dead. Come on. Come here. There we go, got him. Holy. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, they are so mad. They are so mad. He's shooting me. I'm sorry, bro. You are not getting your stuff back. SMG kit? I mean, I'll take it, bro. Alright, let me depot this. Day one was a success. We managed to get a base down and upgrade the base a lot. Many battles won, and from all the fights we won, we now have a ton of loot. So, now I'm gonna go to sleep, so hopefully I don't wake up to my base being offline raided. On day two, I logged into the server and I was very surprised I didn't get raided. I began to make more boxes to store more loot later on. After that, I decided to go on a roam, but while I was walking around, I spotted another player. I went back to the base to store the loot I just got before I went out on another roam. It was already night, and while I was roaming, I was met by the same guy I already killed. And after I killed him, I realized he made a huge mistake. He accidentally left his door open. I started to mine the window so I could escape, but while I was doing that, the base owner opened the door. So I instantly started to break his back so he couldn't spawn anymore. After that, I was getting all the remaining loot from the base. I got rid of the window and I ran as fast as I could to my base. And look how much we profited from that. We now have a ton of guns, a lot of resources. This is a very good start for day two. I took the remaining stone that I had to upgrade more of the base. I needed a lot more resources to upgrade the base, so I went on a huge mining run. Twenty minutes later, I had a ton of ore on me. So I went back to the base to upgrade more of the walls. After that, I decided to use some wood to make an outer layer for my base for extra protection. For day 3, I started to use the iron I got for my mining runs to upgrade the base to iron. Then, I went to Lighthouse to get some loot, but I would have some company. After I died, I put on some gear and I got my AK-47 and instantly went back to Lighthouse.
Okay, I managed to kill them, but now I need to collect all the loot and run back to base as soon as possible before they come back to kill me. So I took over my island, but unfortunately it came with a cost. Turns out the people I killed at Lighthouse were actually my neighbors, and they would spend the rest of the day camping my base just to slow down my progress. They would sit outside for hours and hours, even threatening once I go offline they will raid me. And I was getting tired of not being able to leave the base, so I just got off for the night hoping that I wouldn't wake up to being raided. I got on the next day to find out my base got raided and I could still hear some people mining into my base and I was not gonna give up that easily. I noticed that they kept spawning in my second floor, so I farmed some wood and crafted a door and my plan was to seal the second floor so then they can't have access to my core. So now the base is fully sealed and they can't enter the base anymore. I spent the next 30 minutes looking at the damage and just sealing the base. This was a huge defeat. My base was in crumbles. My loot has been stolen and I simply have nothing but an empty base. I can't believe those guys actually offline raided me. Now I only have one goal in mind. Revenge. I am finally done upgrading my base and getting the resources for the raid. Now I'm ready to get my revenge. This is where they killed me last time and this is the last time they get a base. There we go. Alright, let's see what they got. Uh, nothing. Pretty bad. But they still have one more door and I can see a couple boxes in there. Alright, there we go. Normal SMG. Another SMG with some bullets. Another SMG. I honestly don't even care about the loot. I just wanted them gone. After finally getting my revenge, I decided that my time was up for this server. So, before I got off, I gave my base away to some random dude I met. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please subscribe. More videos are coming soon.